water. Oh, sorry. I'm not at my best today. I've got a cold. And boy, is it making me feel really, really lousy. So I'm going to go home and go to bed and there won't be a TV program today, OK? You mean I have to stay here and make a program? Oh. What am I going to make a program about? I know. How about what happens when I get a cold? My mum just lets me lie down somewhere. I do because like this when I have a cold. I don't like this when I've got a cold. I want to lie in my bed today. I got a cold, see? You have to stay at home and stay in bed. Hmm, maybe. You know, some people think that you catch a cold by getting cold. And really, that's not true at all. Colds are nasty, nasty germs. And if someone was to cough or sneeze when they've got a cold, then those germs shoot out and go everywhere. Oh, watch out. See how the germs shoot out and go everywhere? Well, germs also float about in the air. And if you were to breathe one in, you might just get a cold. Oh, colds are made from germs called viruses. There are all sorts of different types of viruses. The measles virus, chickenpox virus, cold virus, flu virus. And viruses are really, really tiny germs. They're so tiny that you can't see them with your eyes, no matter how hard you tried. I know. I'll show you. Come over here. See this dot here? Viruses are so tiny, you could fit thousands of them onto that dot. Thousands of them. Whew. And cold viruses like to cruise around your body and your bloodstream looking for great places to live. They're pretty fussy. They like special places. Places like your nose and your mouth. And there, they take up residence. Cold viruses travel around your body and your bloodstream, which is like a huge motorway system. The only thing really that stops germs from getting into your blood is your skin. Your skin acts as a giant force field that keeps germs at bay. And as long as your skin doesn't have any cuts or scratches, germs can't get in. Your nose does a really good job too. Your nose is lined with hairs, and those hairs catch germs as you breathe them in, and it pushes those germs back out again. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> your mouth and throat is wet all the time, and germs tend to get stuck there. They don't go any further. If I was a cold virus, what would be the quickest way to get to the nose and mouth area if I happened to start from, say, here? Well, it smells down here, but this isn't the place we're looking for. Finally, we reach the nose and mouth region. Your body is made up of tiny parts called cells, and cold viruses can get into those cells through the walls of your nose and throat. See these lollies here? These are cold viruses in your body. And cold viruses often start working here in your throat. 
They make the walls of your throat swell up so it's hard to swallow. They also make the walls of your nose swell up too, so it's difficult to breathe and your nose feels blocked. The walls of your nose make a sticky stuff called mucus. And when you've got a cold, <laughs> you make a lot of mucus and your nose runs. Which reminds me of a really good joke. Oh no, 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 come back. It's a good joke. Come back. Yeah, now, are you ready? This is a joke about the upside down man. His nose ran and his feet smelt. <laughs> you know, all this talking is not making me feel any better. Ugh, out. Out, I say. Oh, I don't want this annoying cold. I've given it its eviction notice and still it stays. What am I supposed to do? You know, when you've got a cold, you can take medicines to help unblock your nose and to stop you from coughing. But medicines will not cure a cold virus. There is one hero that can do that, though. And that hero is your body. <laughs> Let's say these are the good guys in your body, the white blood cells. And these are the bad guys, the germs that enter your body and give you a cold. Well, what happens when these guys come in is the white blood cells Cruise across and take them out. They kill those germs before they can do any damage. <sighs> like that. But sometimes those cold viruses are just too tough and the white blood cells have to call in the big guys. <gasps> oh. oh, I am sorry. The first thing your body does when it's being invaded by a virus is find out all it can about the virus. It becomes a sort of private detective. It finds out the virus's strengths and weaknesses, whether it's allergic to spinach. Just kidding. And then it sends in the fighters. <laughs> These fighters are called antibodies. The antibodies surround the germs. And then they kill those germ viruses. Ah! <laughs> then the antibodies patrol your body. Left, 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 right, left and stop that virus from coming back again. However, you can get more colds, and that's because there are lots of cold viruses. Each time your body gets a cold, it makes new antibodies, which make you feel better in no time. So, when you've got a cold, you really need to rest a lot and get lots of fluids like water and juice and give your body time to recover. My body, the hero. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'll see you soon. His nose ran and his feet smelt. <laughs> Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.